With Windows 11, there's voice typing, which works when you're in a document or in a form field. And then there's voice access. To turn on voice typing, press the Windows key and the H key together simultaneously. And now go to the gear icon. I would enable the voice typing launcher and turn on automatic punctuation. Now that voice typing is enabled, you can turn it on and off with the microphone. You can use it for basic speech to text. You can say things such as, select that. It selects the last entry. Delete that. Stop listening. Turns off the microphone. Hello, cruel world. Delete that. Deletes the last word or phrase. New line. New paragraph. And now I'll go through several of the characters that you can speak. To see the entire list, access the link in the video comments. New line. Open quotes. Period. Close quote. Hyphen. Exclamation mark. Pound sign. Dollar sign. Ampersand. Open parentheses. Close parentheses. Comma. Ellipsis. Forward slash. Colon. Question mark. Semicolon underscore and some math symbols plus sign equal sign multiplication sign division sign apostrophe s stop listening so you can see it's very handy once you're in a document you can just talk away to use a different voice typing language you can search for language select add a language to this device select add a language and now Search for and select your language. Hit next. Now I'm going to leave this unchecked. I do not want Spanish to take over my computer. I just want to be able to use it when I want to. So select install. So now it's installed. Now to switch to the other language, you can either hit the Windows key and spacebar or down here in your system tray. See, I have English now. And now I can switch to Spanish. Now if I turn voice typing on. Hola, como se llama? You get the idea. And to switch back, I would just do the exact same thing. Now we're going to take a look at voice access, which is different than voice typing. So in search, type voice and select voice access. Turn it on. Voice access allows you to control your computer, open applications, select things, versus just speech to text. Turn that on. And you can select this if you want it on all the time. Start voice access after you sign into your PC. And I would turn this on. Classic voice feature to help you interact with your PC. And that's going to pop up the interface to set up your microphone and such. I would definitely recommend a wired headset with microphone. So set that up and hit next. Peter dictates to his computer. He prefers it to typing and particularly prefers it to pen and paper. Hit next, next. I'm not going to enable that. Now, if you notice with voice typing, you could say stop listening, but you couldn't say start listening. So you can enable that if you want. So that may be helpful. And it offers you a quick reference sheet. It shows you a list of nice commands. Hit next. And if you're going to use this regularly, I would leave this checked. Next. The top bar is the new voice access interface. Voice access, wake up. That turns it on. You can also just turn it off and on by clicking on the microphone. You can change some settings by going to the gear icon. Select your microphone, automatic startup settings, and turn it off. Now, if you search for speech, open the Windows Speech Recognition app. This is the classic interface, and it's sort of the same thing, but I've experimented at length. And let me show you. I'm going to turn this one on, open Word, blank document, layout, 
margins, narrow, close word, don't save. Now I've turned off the classic. I'm going to turn the newer voice access on. Open word, blank document, blank document. So in my experience, the classic interface works better. So if it doesn't auto open, go ahead and check on your settings. Run it startup. And you can always reset up your microphone. You can improve your voice recognition. And you can also go to the control panel. How I'm getting there is I'm right clicking in this little area. Open the speech dictionary and you can add a word or prevent a word from being dictated. And you can exit. If this doesn't open or if it gets shut down for some reason, again, just search for speech and open speech recognition. I'll give several examples of what you can say, but of course, look at the full list and I'll put that link in the video comments. Start. That opens the start menu and here you can search for anything you need. Open paint. Open calculator. Open word. Close word. Close calculator. Close paint. Open word. Now before when we looked at voice typing, that was mainly to see what you could do once your cursor is in a document where you're actually typing. Now with voice access, you can say commands, like I could say blank document. And now I can speak and go through the commands. Layout, margins, narrow, review, spelling and grammar. When it got down to where I had to select from a submenu, it had a little number over spelling and grammar. It had a tiny two, so I had to say two and okay. I've typed some gibberish. Let's do the spell check. Review, spelling and grammar. Two, okay. Blank page. Now, once it gets where there's going to be multiple selections, it doesn't seem to go beyond that point. For example, Insert, shapes, so I have to manually select shapes. So although it's helpful, it's not the all in all. There's also more selection capabilities using voice access. Select world, two, okay. See, it selected the second instance of world. Delete. Stop listening. Start listening. Go to today. Go after today. You see my cursor is moving around. Go to start of sentence. Go to start of document. Go to end of sentence. Go to end of paragraph. Go to end of document. Select all. Select next three words. Clear selection. Change next four words to uppercase. Change next four words to lowercase. Delete previous sentence. Undo. Delete next paragraph. Backspace. Backspace. Page down. Page up. For me, I leave the new voice access toolbar off and I leave the classic option on. Now I'm going to compare leaving the classic voice access on versus just the voice typing. So let me turn this on. Good morning. How are you doing today? Good morning. How are you doing today? Now that's off. Let me turn on voice typing. Good morning. How are you doing today? So it definitely does a better job of punctuation. So I would use the classic interface, but when I really have to do a lot of typing, I would turn on the voice typing.
And remember that's activated with the Windows H key. This should be a good overview to get you started. Be sure to review the links in the video comments for a complete list of commands that you can use. I hope this is helpful. Thank you.